Hi, my name is Tinas. I'm a professor of electrical and electronic engineering at Stellenbosch University. Uh, welcome to our open day presentation. Today, myself and a few of our students will guide you through this very important life decision that you have to make. So we'll be telling you a few things about the degree and the things that we'll be telling you are captured on this slide. Um, we'll basically be covering what does an E&E &E career offer you? We'll be looking at what our department specifically offers you. So firstly, it's why study E&E &E at all, and then why study it here? And then we'll be looking at the five different disciplines that we order or streams that we order inside of E&E &E engineering. We'll be looking at energy, telecommunication and electromagnetics, informatics, robotics, and data engineering, our young one. Then we'll be looking at once you've finished your degree, what are the job opportunities in South Africa, but also abroad? And then finally, we'll give you a link with more information that you can access to go and look at more information, visual information, uh, videos with industry partners, link with industry partners, etc. Hello, my name is Puka Tladi, and I am a final year electrical and electronic engineering student. Okay, so firstly, we're going to have a look at why you should be studying towards a career in E&E. &E. Essentially, what does a career in E&E &E offer you? We have firstly that it allows you to explore different interests as well as take on multiple or different challenges within industry. And the skill set that you'll be gaining here allows you to um, actually insert yourself and work within different industries and different sectors, from your healthcare industries to your software industries to your energy sector, your public sector, as well as your private sector, all of, all of which you'll be able to explore with the skill set that you have gained in this degree. Um, with this, ver with this great variety of industries that you're able to explore comes with um, great opportunities in terms of job opportunities that you'll be able to take on, some of which we'll touch on in more detail later on in this presentation. So bringing it home, we're going to explore why you should be studying towards an E&E &E degree here at Stellenbosch University. Firstly, we offer exceptional education. This is proven by the fact that we are rated second best engineering university on the continent of Africa. This means that here you get the best of the best. I would argue that we are number one. <laughs> Our degree is actually recognized and accredited worldwide by EXA, the Engineering Student Council of South Africa, as well as the Washington Accord, which is an agreement that accredits and recognizes educational engineering educational um, programs all over the world. So we have 70 staff members for every 600 students. And if you activate our engineering maths brains, that is about one staff member for every eight to nine students, which is pretty great. We have various, st various and strong ties to the industries with some of our staff members having worked previously in industry and also currently working in industry. We also have some of our graduates going on to actually do great things in industry as well. Furthermore, after completion of your undergraduate uh, degree, you'll be able to explore an excellent postgraduate program which allows you to grow yourself and acquiring different skill sets as well as growing the way that you think, um, some of which will be touched on later on in this presentation. Hi, my name is Mohini Thakur Prasad and I'm a first year master's student specializing in renewable energy. Um, in this portion of the video, I'm going to be talking about um, the fields of interest that you can go into within E&E &E engineering. So when you choose to study engineering, you have to choose which type of engineering you want to do. And when you choose to do electrical and electronic engineering, you'll have to choose which field you specialize into. So let's get into it. <laughs> Within the electrical and electronic engineering degree, you get to choose one of five options, four of which are historical in their nature. The four historical parts of engineering are energy, electromagnetics and telecommunications, informatics and robotics. When you choose one of these four parts, you get to have a common first, second and third year in which you learn the skill sets 
that are required for each of these industries. It's only in your final year that you actually have to specialize into one of them. Now, these, these disciplines still exist. However, in the past year, we've introduced a new field that you can specialize into, and this is the data engineering field. So the university recognized that industry is in great need of data engineers, and as such, they've created this course. The difference with this course is that you'll have to choose it within your first year. So this means that in your first year, you'll have some modules in common with your friends that are doing the historic courses, but you will quickly deviate from that into modules that are more suited to your type of engineering. So this, the types of modules that you do will be more statistic, probability, and data science based. Okay, so let's get into a little bit more detail about the different fields of electrical and electronic en engineering, starting with energy. So energy incorporates basically all of the aspects of generation, distribution, control of energy, and energy conversion. So when we think about generation within our faculty, it's a bit broader than what you think of when you think of the electricity that ESCOM produces. We incorporate concepts to do with renewable energy, with coal and combustion engines, with even vehicular energy. We, we do the whole spectrum. And then when we get to the distribution side, we basically talk about how do we distribute the energy that's been generated. So this incorporates transmission lines, energy transfer, and transformers. When it comes to the control of energy, we go into concepts that have to do with how do we use energy and how can we control the energy properly. When it comes to the energy conversion, we talk about, um, for example, transforming one type of energy level to another or a voltage level to another. So this can include maybe changing from AC to DC, DC to AC, from electrical energy to kinetic energy or thermal energy. So as you can see, the energy discipline incorporates a broad spectrum, including, for example, renewable energy such as hydro and solar and wind power. We even cover smart grids and electric vehicles. We even do electric drives such as motors and generators, high voltage DC lines, and a whole lot more. Next, we get to electromagnetics and tele uh, telecommunications. This discipline specializes in broadcasting and communications, radar, radio astronomy, and superconductors. Some examples of this are cell phones, TV, radio, antennas, including Wi-Fi and 5G, radar, and satellite communications, and so much more. Um, our faculty of electrical and electronic engineering actually are some of the best at telecommunications and electromagnetics, as well as energy. Hi, my name is Franco Krobler and I'm a final year electric electronic student at Stonebosch University. Informatics is where electric electronic engineering meets computer science. Um, so here you cover topics such as computer hardware and software, um, your digital communication, and also the broader computer science field. Um, within computer science, there is machine learning, which then of course to covers topics such as speech recognition, image, image recognition, machine intelligence, and so forth. Um, all those little buzzwords you always hear about, that's where you cover them. Um, and then Internet of Things topics, which is also something quite expanding in today's world, um, is also covered. Data science is also covered somewhat within the informatics field, but this is broadly covered in the data stream. Okay, robotics is the play field of electronic, electric and electronic engineering. This is where you build all your drones, it covers satellites as well, um, and just everything in between. Um, so within the unmanned vehicles, you have your computer controlled autonomous systems um, for just guidance and you know, collision avoidance, all the topics. Um, and also you have your robotic modeling and simulation, which is the design of of these 
um, drones or unmanned vehicles, as well as satellites. Um, Stellenbosch University has actually got the SunSat program, which is the first South African built satellite in space, and that was launched in 1999. Um, and for all the, the cool unmanned vehicle projects, you can actually look at the ESL YouTube channel. Um, quite cool topics cover there, well, projects cover there. As Mahimi mentioned earlier, data science is the only stream that you choose from your first year. You have quite a few modules in common with the classic electro-electronic um, streams. The only difference here is that you have statistics, data science, and computer science as modules instead of a few other your systems and signals and so forth. Um, this is the a stream preparing you for the fourth industrial revolution. Um, you focus a lot on software development, on data science, obviously, and um, just general statistics and probability. Um, this is very much prepares you for the modern world full of data and everything you can do with it. Hi, my name is Tari Schwartz and I'm a third year e, &E student. Okay, so I will be talking about job opportunities in South Africa. For most of these companies that I will speak about, most of them are world-renowned companies and with the degree that you earn in South Africa, it is accredited so that you are able to work for these world co worldwide companies. For the telecommunication industry, you get uh, companies like Telecom, um, Telcom, Vodacom, MTN and etc. Uh, for the defense industry, you got Dynal Dynamics, Rutec, Radar Systems, BAE, Land Systems, Saab, Avatronics, etc. Process and motor industry, you have Sassel, ISCO, etc. And in electrical in industry, you have ESCOM, you have ABB, you have renewable energy companies, and of course, mun municipalities, because they need e, e engineers. So next we get high tech and space industry. Um, you have SKA, high tech st startups, Cubespace, which was actually started in Stellenbosch. You have the computer industry. All companies doing computer hardware and software development. You have Amazon, IBM, HP, Microsoft, Siemens. These particularly in are interest of mine. Then you have electronic product industry. There are numerous SME companies doing innovation and product development. Most of these are small medium enterprises if you get involved into involved in them you learn a, you learn a lot because you are given a lot of responsibility for machine learning industry you have Capitec, media twenty four google the, this generally falls in line with the data engineering stream because most of these are dealt with in terms of machine learning in terms of Stellan Bosch the tech transfer office in Stellenbosch, for Stellenbosch University is in Novus. There's things such as Inductix, which deal with superconductors and nanoelectronics. You have Custostec, which is novel anti-piracy approach using cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency, which is the hot topic at the moment in terms of the cyberspace, in terms of cyberspace. Um, and then S-Plane Automa Automation, which is aerospace and defense products, supply and development of autonomous, autonomous systems. Next you have Bridge Out, um, which deal with the Internet of Things, geysers, water, energy and assets. That was actually started by our professor, um, Tinas. Um, and obviously you have Cubespace, which is a Stellenbosch startup, which deals with components for microsatellites. As you can see, we're covering a lot of bases, uh, doing a lot of interesting projects, a lot of interesting people involved in our department. Um, if you need more information, feel free to go to our website or our Facebook page. Um, that is at ee.sun.ac.za, or you can look at our Facebook page, as I said. And if you want, you can also contact us by email or using our telephone. Good luck with this very important decision, and we hope to see you next year.